Hey guys, welcome back to Twinkle Tips Fr Friday, Monday, Monday. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm a couple days late. I'm sorry, I went to the Indiana Mini and I totally forgot to post a video, but I have a great idea for a video and I wanna share that with you coming right up. There we go. Um, so we want to do uh, we want to do something that was brought up while I was at the Indiana Mini, which was a great suggestion from Larry. So Larry, this video is for you. Uh, what I want to show you today is I want to show you how to simply create uh, a tune to sign uh, programming and to be able to apply it to all your sequences. Um, as you sequence. Now, there's a number of different ways to do this. I've done videos on this before, but I just wanted to do like the down and dirty, how to do this really quick. So you can see I have the uh, Boscoyo Tune 2 sign. You can do this with practically any prop that's in your display that you wanna have some sort of static uh, or maybe it's some light programming on and it goes on during different songs. Maybe you want to change the colors to match the songs that you're doing it with. Uh, this, this is the, this is the uh, I want to say the most simple version uh, of, of doing this, the basic way to do this and the fastest way to do it uh, without having to do a lot of work. Now, uh, you can see here that I have this expanded and there are a number of submodels in here. We're going to utilize some of those submodels. We, the verticals we won't, the horizontals we won't, but what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the border, the tune to, and the matrix. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We'll create a new animation, 20 frames per second, and we'll click done. And we'll get right into, oh my goodness, look at that house preview. Let me close, let me put that down there and make this a little bigger. And let's go ahead and get right into this. Let's uh, double click on the uh, Tune 2 matrix here. Let's open this up and we're going to find the marquee effect, which is right here, putting this on the uh, border. And let's add some color into that. And let's add a couple skips into that. Now you can see, you can see the Tune 2 sign working there. It's looking pretty good. The second thing we'll do, we'll go grab the on effect. And that's right here. And we'll put it on the Tune 2 words. And let's change that to green. There we go. And now let's go grab the text effect up here and we'll put it on the matrix. We are going to, uh, this is set to uh, 12 by 12 bold. Let's go ahead and type in, uh, I use 100.3 FM, 100.3. Now there you see the, the text on it. Oh, let's change the color to red or maybe uh, yellow. Yellow look good? Something bright, pink. Let's do pink. Pink looks good. Next, what we want to do is we want to have this kind of set so that it scrolls across the screen. Uh, or maybe, maybe you want it to just be static. So maybe, let's, let's just do static, okay? Because instead of movement, maybe we'll do that in another video, right? So let's, maybe we should try to resize this down so it kind of all fits. Let's put it on, I wish there was an 8x8 eight eight bold, but I guess there isn't. Let's do this one here. And um, oh, maybe we want FM on here. FM. Uh, well, that kind of stretched it out a little more. Maybe we need to go a little smaller. Let's go thin. Bam. Look, there. Now you got your tune to 100.3 FM. Now, if you've got less letters on there, it might be easier. You could play around with some of the fonts and stuff and, and get in here and play around with different sizes and different types and bold and all that good stuff right there, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to right click on the sequencing grid and we're going to add open up the effects preset window now what is the effects preset this is the easiest way to create an effect that you can utilize over uh uh often and pretty often whenever you're doing the same thing over and over again so what i'm going to do here notice notice that there is a layer here this is a layer here a layer here this is skipped we're not using the verticals or the horizontals and then you have the tune two, and then we have a skip here and we have the matrix here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these effects. I'm going to hit this button over here, new preset. I'm gonna call this tune two. And I'm gonna save this as my tune two preset. It doesn't look like anything. It looks like boxes, uh, you know, uh, marquee going around the box there. But what's important is the order that this gets placed in. Now, when you create a preset, go back to your layout tab and hit the save button. Do that right away because that saves the preset with your layout. Okay, so now what happens is let's make this box a little bit smaller and let's go over and we'll put another timing mark right in here. T for timing. Maybe we'll zoom in a little bit. I think it needs, I think that's it. That's right on it. Okay. And, and we'll, we'll place the marker, the, the, the cursor right above or right on the same line as this border is. And look, apply preset, bam. And there you have a fast way for you to quickly go across your entire layout 
and add the exact same uh, preset to your show. And if you play this through, if you're adding this into all your sequences, by all means, you can certainly do this. If you want the advanced bit, then what you can do is you can add this in. And I've done another video, I'll, I'll see if I can remember to post it up above here, uh, on doing a background sequence. And that's everything we have for you today, guys. Thank you for joining us on Twinkle Tips Monday, Friday. It, it's Twinkle Tips, and we're glad that you're here. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Lots of great content coming. And put in the comment section what you would like to see in some of our videos. We are thrilled to answer questions and kind of walk you through some short ways to do things in x Lights or how you can work around issues and challenges. But uh, more than that, uh, we also are happy to take care of you. And if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club, where you get one awesome sequence each and every month, and we continue to teach the community different things through our events, such as tomorrow night, Tuesday night, we do uh, Tuesday uh, webinars. We also do every other week, we do a open mic night. And so if you jump in tomorrow night, now I know you're going to see this in a, re in a recording, it won't be tomorrow night, but check our YouTube channel. We live stream all of our uh, webinars uh, and you're welcome to join us in our uh, open mic night. So guys, thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a good one.